All right, welcome to Araton Empire, still your Jitambo Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of the Hajis. I know how we do right here. We dissect, we intercept, and we deliberate on trending issues, trending topics, controversies, and we give you factual analysis on politics, entertainment, showbiz, updates, and things happening around you. And today, just we have so many interesting issues to talk about in this episode. We'll be talking about Rita Dominic wedding and what people have been saying about it. I'll be giving you all the intels and all the inclusives. And also, we'll be talking about yesterday's interesting match. We'll be talking about Tinibu, Peter B, Atiku. We have a lot to talk about in this episode. Just stay tuned, stay glued. But please subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. Just stay tuned. Now, quickly, let's talk about Ghana and South Korea match. That match was interesting. That match was interesting. From the beginning to the end of that match, it was so interesting. It's been a long while I enjoyed Ghana match like this. It was so interesting. And listen, the both both sides they played they played very well. Both sides they played very well. The South Korea at the beginning of the match they were dominating Ghana. They were dominating like Ghana know they even see their leg. But quickly Ghana turned the whole situation. And started dominating them. And when Salisu gave us the first goal, Kudus, Kudus gave us the second goal. Kudus gave us the second goal. Now, coming from the second half, that was when the whole game changed. The atmosphere changed. South Korea, they came with another pattern. They came with another tactics. And they scored the first goal, and that is where I want to talk about. For the fact that South Korea they scored the first goal from that angle and second goal from that angle, then there is a problem there. In Ghana team, if one person is confused, everyone becomes confused. That is a big problem. If one person don't get confused or frustrated or depressed, all of them, it will affect them. Because that same angle, a goal came from that same angle, and within in three minutes' time, another goal came from the same angle, from the same person. And the defending was zero at that point. The defending was so, was zero. But overall, Kudus gave us another goal. Kudus gave us what we were looking for, and that is that three points. Honestly speaking, the guys, they played very well. See here, the goalkeeper, I'll give it up to the goalkeeper. He's also good. He's very, very good, honestly. That keeper... He knows how to keep very well. And this keeper will be the permanent keeper because now nah, I've seen he knows what he's doing. He's always on point. He's always there to catch the ball. If not for that keeper, South Korea, they would have given another goal because those guys, they were so persistent. They were hitting back to back, back to back. But Unfortunately, they didn't succeed because the goalkeeper knows what he's doing. And also, the team, they were also playing as a team. They were coordinated. They were so coordinated. Kudos to them. We are hoping to see them in another game. So, guys, I'm hoping to see them play like the way they played yesterday with Uruguay. We are moving forward. And that is it. May we.